Okay, cupcakes. So, since we are doing three rolls for Book Doppelthon and three spins for the TBR spinner wheel, I'm going to go ahead and do my Book Doppelthon page here because when I tried to screen record it for last month, I realized that it only screen records the one screen. It doesn't actually show me rolling the dice on the other screen. So, we're just going to go back to the good old fashioned handmade one that I printed off from uh, the Google Drive that Becca provided. And we have my little cute balloon animal that my fiance gave me. I don't know where he got it from. But I put it on the token that we were on our last game, which was published our set 1999 or before. And I got my little dice roller here and my two sided dice because I learned that it is not just one dice, it is two. So we are going to roll our three sets. So first roll, we got a five. So. One, two, three, four, five. And that is favorite trope. My favorite trope is definitely enemies to lovers, which I actually at the bottom of the page here what my rolls are. So favorite trope. And I would say enemies to lovers is my favorite. I also do like friends to lovers, but enemies to lovers is just so much more tension. So, our next roll is another five. Or I think we got a four, four before, and then we got five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Emoji. I'll have to go look at the rules for that. I think you just go to an emoji generator and pick. Uh, the emoji that fits, or book that fits with that emoji that it rolls. And our last roll, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just want to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Mood read. Awesome. That works for me. And let's go do our spinner wheels now. Okay guys, so we are going to do the random emoji generator real fast because I saw on Becca's Bacopathon's rules is you just click the random emoji generator that she provides and you just do an emoji that you think, uh, or the book that you think best will match with the emoji. I went ahead and did three emojis because it lets you do however many you would like, so I'm going to do three to choose and I'm going to randomize this three times as well, so one two, three. Santa's skull speak. Randomize again, because uh, it's June. If this was July, I would do it, but that's because it's Christmas, so let's go ahead and do six. Four, five, six. Slumpy, sandal, and a boat. I can work with that. Um, because it's June, I can do a summer, uh, story that has boats and high heels and maybe they're friends to lovers or enemies to lovers or things like that. I will work with this and I will get back to you about what book I pick. Alright, so for the time being, we are going to go ahead and screen record OBS, our Will of Aim spinner wheel or TBR spinner wheel that we have been working on this month. So rewind. I don't have D100 on um, Google, but I just do 2D10s and make sure that I know that the D10 the person is under. So, one and two, and we will roll. So, it is actually a 39. So, number 39 is a library book. So, I'm going to just write this down on my little. List here for June. Now our next spin. Uh, 
a series spin. So we actually go to a different wheel for this. Open, go down to series spin. And these are all the ongoing series that I'm in right now. So let me go ahead and get rid of that. Oh, that's why. So it was different colors at some point. That's fine. All right. The Red Queen series. I am still trying to finish class two as we speak. Another series, okay. Go back to series, open. Let's see, they were trying to finish this. I actually like it being pastel colors, so I don't know how I can save this, but that's fine. Figure that out later. Any Mortal Kombat without finishing are the two that I get. So series, mortal instruments. Okay. So for our three uh, roles for Bogopagon, we got favorite trope, emoji generator, and mood ring. And then for four, five, and six, we've got library book, series red queen, series mortal instruments for our twenty yard spin. So I'm going to write down these books, and then I'll show you all what I picked at the end. Okay, hey everyone. Um, I am going to be quickly uh, showing you the list of the books that I'm going to be doing for my game PBR. So, I actually went right along here on my Excel spreadsheet that I have and wrote down all the uh, prompts or situations that we got from both games that I played for Zoom. So, um, starting this year, uh, and then starting going into next year as well, I'm going to be doing two games for one month and then a single game for the other two months because I'm going to be doing three months out of the four quarters for the year to where I have all four games that I have made by different things like my Tarot PBR, my PBR Bingo, my Becker's Bogopathy, and uh, the uh, Spinner Wheel. I'm going to be playing all of them, so that way they all get a chance to uh, get me books on my PBR. Um, two of them are five a month, and then I get an extra mood read to make it an even six. And then the uh, Becca's and the Spinner Wheels are just six in total, but then we do three each, so that way it's still six. So three from Becca and three from the Spinner Wheel, which also I will preface now, which I'll in the future you will see. I am doing Becca's Bogopagon through the year, and then uh, during the spooky seasons, I'll be doing his Bogopathy bo uh, board. So I just wanted to say that. But anyway, to the topic at hand, the June PBR, I went ahead and did Becca's uh, Bogopagon page or er, uh, board, and then I did Spinner Wheel. So the first three here are from her board. So we got favorite trope. And then we got emoji generator and we got mood read. So favorite trope, I did enemies to lovers. And so um, I got the book Night in His Eyes, which looks like this. Um, let me go ahead and open it even bigger for you. It's very beautiful. Um, even when I looked it up in Kindle looking for a enemies to lovers, this is one of the books that it picked. just saying for emoji, uh, emoji generator that I got some ease, uh, emoji face, a sandal, and a boat. And so I picked the book from Illustrating to Love. Um, you'll see here in a moment I will pull up the book. Um, it is a book that I found when I looked up, I think, summer or boat books in my actual Kindle. I was going to do my library book for this emoji generator, but I actually found this one. It's called uh, From Illustrating to Love. It is a fake dating romance. Um, they are both competing in 
and he'll be here in this cover. Uh, two fake relationship romance. Both of them are illustrators uh, for books, but he is a children book writer, and she is a, uh, I think, second book writer, but she doesn't want to help him with art. And so he has to find someone that's, like, really uh, popular to do his books and is actually friends with him, and she wants a part of that. So he's like, well, if you both date me, then maybe I'll get you on. And so a lot of angst, and I'm very excited. But it, it fulfills the promise of, you know, Kiki or sad face and a guy burning candles in his face. For the emoji one from the library, but then I actually saw... Um, for my Libby app for books that were available right now, there is this book here, Lady Charlotte Always Gets Her Man, and I am in my Regency era right now because of all of the Bridgerton things and everything, but I also just finished a book called Five Kisses that was really good. I'm in the middle of a book called Lady... Oh, I don't remember what her name is. It's like, it's another Regency book, though, so I'm into my Regency stuff right now, but that's just what this one looks like, and it's really cute. So I'm going to be reading that one. And then the next books I have to do is Red Queen and Mortal Instruments for my series continuation. So I have to do Black Sword. And I've been reading this forever. I'm actually 73% at this very moment in it. So I think I have like an hour and a half left of the first part of it on YouTube. And then I have like another hour or so onto the second part that someone posted on YouTube as well. But I'm so close to finishing this book, it's unreal. And then City of Bones, I just keep waiting to get an audio for so I can do it because it is a tome through. It is 485 pages and I literally just have a physical copy of it. And unless I have an audio book or a Kindle book, the 400 plus books intimidate the heck out of me. So, that is going to be my June TBR. As I said, I, I, try, I, I try to have the main goal of getting three books a month finished. That's just, like, my main goal because that's how the man needed to get through the year if I wanted to do 40. And because I already got the five ahead to make it to where I only had to do three a month. And I did eight technically in January. And then I've been just slowly kind of keeping up with it ever since that. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of my June TBR goals and results and what books I decided to read. I was excited to get into my library books and get it done before I have to go back and really get into finishing what was the most and also really getting done more of the class sword and moving on to the next book in the series, I guess. Um, but yeah, I am excited for all the books on my TBR. I just know that those are going to be my first priority, my first three priorities for sure at the beginning um, of this month. So, but yeah, with the, without further ado, I will see you in the next one, guys, and uh, stay safe, cupcakes.